All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is kind of off the, it's not usually what I do, but I actually really enjoy cooking. This is what I'm gonna be doing today, is some chicken and vegetables. It's very simple, very easy. I know a lot of people can be kind of intimidated about cooking. I always liked it, but I know a lot of people were trying to get their, you know, maybe health together or whatever, or kind of don't know what to start, but uh, I wanna do some really good delicious recipe and it's super easy so i got three chicken thighs here i don't use breasts because them shits is disgusting sorry not to offend anyone here but i think they're gross so i used the dark meat man so i got about three chicken thighs right here and so what we're gonna do right here uh number one thing don't use any oil if you're gonna, you know, try to fry it or something, just use some sort of zero calorie spray. Oil has a fuck ton of calories. So I'm just gonna put it in this bowl because we're gonna be marinating this overnight. It tastes so much better. So I'll just kind of spread it out. So, so number one is I like to use this seasoning, Dale seasoning, and this is the reduced sodium. I usually use the regular one. It tastes way better. Uh, I'm really bad about my sodium. I'll be eating way too much, I'm sorry. But this is the reduced one. So I like to basically use about one scoop, I think like one teaspoon on each side. And I'm gonna be using my hands to mix it up, I'm sorry. If... So I put it on one on one garlic powder. So you just wanna, I'm very generous with the seasoning. So I add that in there. Then I add some uh, onion powder. Now if you're gonna fry some onions with it, you don't need to add the onion powder, but I uh, usually don't. Sometimes I will fry the onions, but it takes too long to actually saute onions. So I just use some onion powder. And that in there. And we got some black pepper, you know, classic, gotta have it. And then uh, so just, I don't add too much black pepper because I think it's kind of overpowering. And then I like to add some uh, crushed red peppers you don't need to add that i just like the flavor of it it's kind of like a chipotle flavor but i just add a little bit in there and then of course you gotta add your salt teaspoon and then i'm gonna sort of flip the next morning I got the pan heating up about medium heat a little bit and I'm gonna be adding the chicken right here it's been marinating as you can see I added a little bit of onions to it because onions is the shit and I'm gonna be boiling some vegetables just some Pam cooking spray right here I'm gonna spray this down Make sure to have some sort of adhesive, otherwise, unless you got a really good pan coming off, so I'm just gonna add the chicken in there. vegetables are actually pretty much done boiling and what I like to do is kind of take them out and throw it on the pan for just like a little bit you don't have to do this the main reason I do this is because all that water and things and it kind of tastes like shit so if I just throw it on there for a little bit it tastes a little bit better so I'm gonna drain out the water so I got that right there I'm just gonna throw it on there for a little bit So this is the final product. Looks pretty fucking good. <clears throat> got chicken a little busting. And I got the vegetables. Uh, so let's do a taste test. All right, time for the taste test. I'm gonna try to do a good job. So let me get some of this chicken. So 
that's how it's looking right there. Pretty fucking good. All right. Just good, bro. Try some of this. It's sort of like this helps me eat this because if I was eating that by itself, I would have died. But this really helps. Chicken's very juicy. It's not dry. That's the problem with chicken breast. I think it's always fucking dry and doesn't taste as good for the thighs. It's more calories. Tastes way better. And it's not bad. So give this recipe a try on the goddamn cooking YouTube channel now. No much cap. I'll see you guys later.